Hey, what's up everyone? So I am very happy about the update, honestly, of the Intelligent Amico that we had yesterday night. I received the email at midnight. Um, so basically, they're mentioning a new product in some way, which is the Hamico Home. And this will allow us to already start playing the games on other hardware platforms, other devices, such as mobile devices. And obviously, the mission of Amico is bring us together. So even if it will be uh, with the Amico Home on devices, uh, such as mobile devices, we will be able to play together. So that means that Amico is going also to be portable. You know, so this is great. In the past we had, you know, Game Boys and things like that, but now already with portable devices, we'll be able to play our games. And this is an efficient way to play the Amico also, but together. I know a lot of people were, you know, being negative about mobile devices. They said, oh, the Amico games, they're, they're just mobile games and all this but do you say that retro games are just mobile because you could just play them on mobile but there are people there that that's stupid you know because why do I speak about about this negativity is because it's the current audience that is there online uh, I'm lacking education so are you saying that the greatest games on PlayStation, on Super Nintendo, PlayStation 2, they're just mobile because you, you could play them uh, on mobile. But what is wrong with mobile currently is the fact it's lonely. It's something lonely. A portable device is great, but it's still something lonely. You can have great games on portable devices. The issue here, the Intergen Amico is wanting to resolve is bring people together so amico home which is the main point in the update is this this initiative of intellivision to go on other hardware platforms for now this is great news guys because already you know i will be able to play amico uh, portable but with other people and i just thought while reading this email why not being able to cast some games on the TV, right? I mean, I'm able to do that with my phone. I can cast YouTube on my TV. So why not casting the picture you have on your phone to the TV and play it together? This is just an idea. It's not mentioned in the, in the email, but I'm thinking about it. But no matter what, is the fact that we can play together already the amazing games made by Intellivision. And when I say amazing games, guys, it's simple as ABC, okay? For example, yesterday I checked Bar's Tale. You know, it was developed by John Alvarado, by, by his team of engineers, and also Tommy Talarico worked on that game too. And Philadams have been working with, with many franchises, famous franchises such as obviously Tetris, Baldur's Gate, Fallout, um, and even uh, Planescape Torment. Planescape Torment, I mean, Guido, Guido and Kel, I mentioned this in my other video, is the producer of the game Planescape Torment, the most famous RPG. Oh, but it's a mobile game because I can play it on mobile. This is idiot. This, this way of thinking is just it's just a way to deny to deny the truth truth deniers they are full of them truth deniers and they make lose hope people because hope is a virtue why it's a virtue because you know a lot of people don't see reality the, the right way they will see a little thing and, and the little, that little thing is the whole reality. But no, it's not. It's not. But a virtue is like being able to see the truth as it is. 
not blurred by some things you know that can be part of the picture but it's not the picture so being positive it's not being like overly uh, in an exaggerated way denying the this the picture or the, the, the that reality great that that is there are are bad you know being positive doesn't mean that you're going to deny the fact that there's something that is really bad that would not be positive that would not be being positive but the real picture here I'm trying to make you see is that already we'll be able to play the Amico games portably in a very efficient way and in the email they, Phil Adams mentions footprint hardware footprint Amico is all about being green all about being efficient because what's the purpose in all this is having fun and how do we have fun it's playing together and I love the video of um, Next Level Gaming Mike with the son having a lot of fun playing Shark Shark and I want to have that fun too I believe in the philosophy of Intelligent Amico I believe in this team because they are they are they have proven success real world proven ro world um, quality top quality uh, games and success you know but the negative people they take something that is not necessarily bad but they make it look bad and they make it to take the whole place so it condemns the people so it condemns a good thing such as the amico so this is being not virtuous because it's not the truth it's not the truth it's lie they lie they spread lies with the help of a little thing that oh yeah that a little thing can be true a little thing let's say um, uh, I can I don't know I can give an example uh, when you give example, it's it's not always necessarily um, <clears throat> silly, uh, you know, concrete uh, or uh, something that happens all the time. But let's say I or that that we can relate all the time. But you know, if I have something in my teeth because I ate something, then somebody says, "Look, he has ugly teeth. His teeth were black, or his teeth were." Uh, or, I don't know, uh, green because of sp spinach. Well, it's true, my teeth were green, but it's because of the spinach. You understand? Or uh, it was because of I just drank a, you know, something. <laughs> you know? See what I mean? It's true that my teeth were stained. It's true that my teeth were not looking nice. But <laughs> The truth was not that I didn't have nice teeth, you know, but it was fact. They were stained, blah, blah, blah. It's a fact. No, the fact is that it was stained, but he just removes it and then his teeth are, are great. So philosophy is, is so important to reason correctly, to be fair, to reason fairly. That's what I call reasoning fairly. So the truth about Intergenami Co. is they have a new product line now. A new product line portable. So already we start with the portable, but playing together. So in that email, key words, the key elements in that email were that is the mission of Intergenami Co. to play together. So Amico Home is to play together. That's a fact. So we'll be able to connect together with our devices. So you mentioned mobile device, but there will be other hardware platforms. So we'll be able to connect together in the same room. Okay, mom, take that, take that cell phone. Dad, take that, take your cell phone, take your tablet, take your mobile device. Okay, let's play together a game of chess. I don't know, just, <laughs> just an example. But let's play together char shark. Grandma, take your. Take this tablet, okay? It's with Farco. 
So, you know, the board games, let's say, let's take an example. The board games we played together, the board games, we're still playing together. Be it on, on a, a mobile device, it's playing together. And it's not because it's on a mobile device that it's bad. No. The best video games of history, now you could play them on your mobile. You could import them on your mobile. Doesn't mean they're bad games. No, they're great games. What we want is the best games. And who makes the best games? Who makes the best game? Who are the people who make them? It's the people who are able to make them, who have a proven record of success in the video game industry, and that's the whole Intelligent Amico team. I am so amazed, I'm so happy that we have Tommy Talarico as the president of Intellivision, and then Phil Adams with this proven record of experience to bring the most amazing games that we will have because they brought in the past the best and amazing game and I don't care what you will say about that there's a lot of some people say oh chameleon who cares like who cares that's just like a little thing that okay somebody made a mistake the guy who was leading this project and John Alvarado did say that Phil Adams has had really nothing to do with that kind of project and uh, which can compare to everything that has been done. Okay, Tommy Talarico has five world records. He worked on the most famous games, on many famous games, on the most video games also, since the, the early 90s, or end of 80s, I think, or early 90s. Uh, guys, you cannot measure a world-class, world, a world-class, record you know to something that okay can be negative okay that can be a negative but if you see always the negative this, this little things are sometimes of course bigger but still it's not a whole picture if you give too much importance to some negative you will never see the reality the way it is because you put your focus on just negativity. And this is a phenomenon we have seen with, with the people following, uh, with a lot of people following this project who are gamers, mostly gamers. So I am so happy of this because I know we're going to be able to play them soon. Okay. Yeah. There's no release date yet. That's fine. You don't want all the time a release date because it's not the time to have one yet until things are more settled with everything and then okay guys we have a, a release date Christmas I don't know or next year Christmas so this is being realistic and being positive being happy and enjoying life and enjoying a new product that will release because if you're always negative about everything you'll never enjoy anything you'll never see the truth you will live, you will not have lived. You will not have lived life the way you should have lived it. Because you focus only on some bad things. Some bad things. But, you know, we don't live in a perfect world where everything always go right, go your way. But you can take the right direction and you can see the signs that demonstrate that there's something great because you see the right pictures of how things are really. So I am really happy about Intelligent Amico Home, a new product line that will allow us to play in other places. Portable, portable, a portable Amico in some way, in some way that allows us to play together the best games. Why I say best games, not just to sell, you know, that Amitra Jamico is great, is the people making these games are of the best and they proved it. And they, they can even talk with us in the Intelligent Amico group or on YouTube, you know, John Alvarado was there uh, in Amico forever. I mean, he, he, he goes there sometimes, you can chat with him, go see Barstale, Amazing game uh, I looked into uh, yesterday on um, good old games. 
So uh, it was, I think, originally on it was on PlayStation or Xbox. It was on Xbox. Um, I know Phil Adams. He worked with the franchise uh, Baldur's Gate on Xbox Two. I mean the Xbox, the first Xbox. Uh, and and also, I mean, Interplay worked with Baldur's Gate. Interplay, and this is my favorite game ever, guys. You, you have no idea how much I'm a fan of these games. How much I'm a fan of Planescape Torment, Baldur's Gate, Fallout. Phil Adams worked on the Fallout franchise. He was an executive for Interplay, for for companies, for different companies who worked. One of them worked with Fallout, with the Fallout games. Yeah, I, I played these games as a teenager. It, this made this made my this made my youth, my teenage years that I cherish my whole life. And without these games, without these amazing games, my life would not be the same. My childhood, my teenage years would not be the same. Would but they have been so memorable and great and amazing because I played these amazing games. They were not just games, they were masterpiece. This is different. Masterpieces and not is different. The same with books. You have great books such as Lord of the Rings that will go through ages, but you have also books that are just books. You have games that are just games, you know, and you can't say again. You can't say it's mobile. No, who cares? The platform is not the point here. It's the game. If you read, if you read your Law of the Rings on the on your tablet, or you read it in uh, in a book, of course, reading it in a book is is usually better. It's still Law of the Rings, guys. Okay, I don't want to hear stupidity because if I would hear somebody, if anyone would hear somebody saying it's just a mobile book, Lord of the Rings, you're reading a mobile book, you're, you're just literally, I mean, saying something stupid, everybody would look at you and say, are you stupid? No, literally, like, go, go in the street and say, Lord of the Rings, on mobile, reading Lord of the Rings on mobile is bad. It's it makes it a bad book. No, it's still Lords of the Ring. Lord of the Rings. Okay. So I'm go home. Really excited, guys. Really excited to play with my son, to with my friends. I'll be able to start playing together in the same room with different devices. With anybody. So I'll be able to invite people who for a long time didn't play video games. My dad, for example. So already we, we can we will be able to play very soon. Very soon. These video games and invite anybody to play with us. It will be even easier to play board than to play board games. So playing the Intention Amico will be easier than playing board games. This is amazing news, guys, but you need to see. Of course, it can be hard to see when you just read once or twice. When you think about it, everything that it that it means or that it entitled is that I'll be able to invite people who never play games or maybe play some little things on their phone and then, hey, come play together. Will be four play four players, five players in the room enjoying games, guys. This this will take will catch like fire and soon soon enough the console. But you know, like anything great, like I said, step by step. But if you don't have the courage, if you don't have much hope, you will see everything too big for you. And if you see everything too big for you, you'll be always negative. You'll de you'll do nothing. And that's what we see of a lot of people. With that project. That project is a perfect example. The Intention Amico project is a perfect example of something great being built and all people around being hopeless, tired, lacking courage, focusing on just negative. 
thoughts or negative things.